SCP-24, Toronto's breaking news. Just coming up to 11.30, 20 degrees, a mix of sun and cloud out there. You're looking at a live shot right now of downtown. Not a lot of people out and about at this hour from 299 Queen Street West. This is Toronto's breaking news, CP24. Good morning, I'm Lindsay Deleuze. Traffic and weather together, but first our top story. The G20 continues for a second day and so do the protests and the arrests. So let's go live right now to CP24 special G20 correspondent Craig Kilberger, who is following the first protest rally of the day. Hi, Craig. Hi, indeed. The protest rally started at uh, Jimmy Simpson Park, made its way east on Queen to Logan, south to Eastern, and then east on Eastern until it reached Eastern and Pape in front of the uh, film studios here that had been converted as the makeshift detention center. They were led by a banner that said, Free Our Comrades. You could probably hear them chanting in the background. Uh, approximately 75 protesters in total, uh, chanting things ranging from uh, so, so, so solidarité to, uh, to let them go, let them go. Uh, prior to arriving on site, they had discussed with police the requirement that they stay on the opposite side of the road to the detention center. Uh, the police, uh, in no uncertain terms, said uh, very loudly in front of the entire group that, that no violence would be tolerated today, that they would um, immediately take control if the situation got out of hand. Uh, they certainly do have a show of force here. We counted 14 unmarked um, vans carrying officers. They pulled over in the opposite parking lot. Um, officers uh, fully uh, geared, not riot gear, but fully geared up, who have exited at the situation. And we've noticed a number of the buses pulling into the detention center. Walking with the, uh, the protesters, we've been asking them, um, what do they want? They said, uh, we want more information on our colleagues. We want them, of course, released, they said. Uh, the, uh, there is uh, a lot of questions being asked because this morning, it was widely reported in social media and in mainstream media about arrests at U of T. Many individuals had gathered here without information on that arrest and they're also asking for police uh, for the names of the people arrested, who was arrested, why were they arrested. There's, um, there are a lot of questions emerging from this group this morning. Craig, are you hearing any reaction from residents in the area? We are indeed. In fact, it's, it's quite an eclectic reaction ranging from uh, some bakery workers we walked past to uh, raise their fist in a sign of solidarity when the people started that chant. Uh, some very confused motorists who were on Eastern suddenly found their cars surrounded in a peaceful way by these protests that made their way. Um, a one very colorful uh, bus honked. But we have heard from individuals. One lady who was walking with her dog said it's uh, only because of young people like this that they have parks, that they have democratic rights in the country. But we also heard from another lady, Deborah, who very uh, vehemently and strongly said that she doesn't want them in her neighborhood. This is a residential area. They should go to downtown town, uh, a park, uh, someplace away from children though, that here is where young children play, here is where homes are. People here were not informed and not aware of the protest and uh, she certainly uh, does not want them in her neighborhood. And to just to reiterate uh, once again, Craig, uh, this protest, the first rally of the day, appears uh, to be quite peaceful. Uh, is that your impression? Uh, very peaceful. In fact, um, I, I would say almost cordial with the police, where we saw some of the police who were um, tickling uh, some of the young children who were, uh, as part of this protest, who were being carried in the arms of parents. Um, of course, there's still tension. There's, there's uh, feelings of animosity from the, what we saw the evening past. Many groups here have been asking officers to, uh, to please ensure that if they choose to do arrests, it'll be done in a way that they have enough time to leave. The officers saying that they are only here for public safety. We spoke to one person, Ilya. She's a young student who was marching. We asked, why are you here? She said in one word, uh, justice. She doesn't know someone in the detention center. She was at the peaceful rally, the 1 p.m. labor rally at Queen's Park. 
She saw that she saw this on the news. She followed it on Facebook. She chose to come out here because she believes that everyone should have the right to peacefully protest. And it is interesting. A lot of the protesters are making a distinction, trying to differentiate themselves from the uh, the so-called black bloc techniques we saw. They keep saying that they were the 1 p.m. the labor protesters, not the violent protesters. Uh, but we'll be monitoring this and continuing to give you updates at every step along the way. Sounds good, Craig. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, officers are keeping a close eye on the city amid fears of another flare-up of violence.